Good question, RJ. Guys, let us know in the comments what you think about that question because it's a very uh, important part of the business right now. Are they going to choose to move forward or try to recapture the previous customers? But I think if you look at this video, uh, I think they, they, I don't know if this is the, the, the way to reach, to say sorry to the, uh, the, 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 pre uh, the, to their customers, the original customer base. I don't know. The, the, yeah. These days they might not have any customers left, but. Maybe they're not saying sorry either. Maybe it's just. They're, they're not saying sorry. Yeah. Maybe they're saying, Could you know what? Sorry. No, no. So no, they didn't. They just fired the people. The, no, no, I'm the, talking about the customers. What are you talking? I don't, I don't, I don't understand your question. So, so what I said was, this they didn't, they didn't, they didn't say sorry. They didn't create a a ad saying sorry. They just continue forward. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. But mm. why, why did you ask? I thought you asked me whether the customers yeah, should they said, have said sorry oh, to their customers. I, I didn't hear that like question. A, a ad like. Guys, we, we, we screwed up. Well, it, our bad. If this is not you guys. You guys are not like this. But we are still inclusive. You, you, you can angle inclusivity in different ways. Because yeah. if you look at this, one thing, RJ, one thing that, that, that I noticed in this, in this ad, they're talking about inclusivity. How many women that we saw, how many colored people that we saw. Yeah. I only saw one black guy at the end and there was it was just it, there wasn't no inclusivity it was just not an, saying that uh, they should but it, I mean if you if you want to go to that angle you, there is but there is a stupid way to do it yeah but you can't but I mean their inclusivity is a different kind of inclusivity right so you're gonna include people that you think who are part of your base maybe they think Maybe they have a, uh, maybe they, have, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> maybe they have a uh, cognac brand where, <laughs> with, <laughs> is this my new way? Is this my new way? Maybe the, co may, yeah, I don't know, but no, and all jokes, all jokes aside, you it's either they it's either they think that they there aren't so black people, Asian people, uh, other people who drink Bud Light and they think this is it and they focus on it or they don't they're just this is just a second uh shoot in the dark campaign. Let's hope we hit something. Yes, <laughs> let's hope of... let's hope we hit something. <laughs> let's hope we hit the enemy, not ourselves. Yeah, because they already had a well, it's not Bud Light. It was Budweiser. After the the whole debacle uh, transpired, they basically released the 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 most American stereotypical commercial I've ever seen. Do you remember that one? No. Which one are you referring to? Let me, let me give me a second. Let me let me. I don't know if you recall this one, RJ. This was this. This is what they dropped right after the the debacle uh, happened. I cannot play the audio again, but. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> A horse. Show the mountains. Show Budweiser. Show a horse walking through cities. No one bothered to ask. Whose horse it was? <laughs> Word on the street is. <laughs> Maybe we should put you on mute. That, <laughs> that Lil Nas X is looking for his. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me pause this for a second. Let me pause this for a second. Yeah, what did you say? Can you repeat that again? <laughs> I said nobody bothered to ask whose horse it was. Word on the street is Lil Nas X is looking for his horse, man. <laughs> 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 
They should have ended with no <laughs> in this video, man. Oh my god. Oh man. But yeah, <laughs> let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> Hey, man, they had this horse walking throughout <laughs> cities. Hey, I hope they pay, They gave him good enough water. Look at equal, this. Ooh, equal at pay. That. Equal pay, yeah. This is butts for you. That's man. definitely Lil Nas' horse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, this is the second big, second big commercial they, they have released. And the first one was a total strike. No one believed it. Everyone criticized it. And the second one, let's see how it will go. But I don't think it will be well received. I don't think it is. RJ? I don't think it will be well received by the original. I'm going to say, let's say the original core audience mm -hmm. but i don't know whether or not or i don't know to what extent it might hit it might resonate with the younger audience that they are clearly trying to reach the younger generation so i do think that i mean numbers don't lie and objective I mean, numbers lie. i mean you can lie with numbers but <laughs> that was about to say i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> i can make a number say anything <laughs> Except how many subscribers we have, guys. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, 60% of 60% of no, I'm just kidding. But the the so that's what I'm saying. I don't know how I don't the numbers will let us know to what extent it hits or not, it resonates or not, to what extent it will be a success or not. But I think with the core audience, Bud Light should do. A lot more because the core audience seems to be very pissed at the at what happened. Let's say the campaign. So yeah, I guess time will tell. The question is because loyalty. That's also a thing, eh, KR. Loyalty. People are not quick to make changes, so people in general will will give you a chance once they. Are loyal to you right so let's say you go to a good restaurant you eat one time it's good you eat a second time it's good maybe the ambiance is good you know third time fourth time if you go the fifth time or the sixth if you go the fifth time the food isn't good or the ambiance isn't great or the surface isn't good maybe you think maybe you say you know what i'm gonna you, you i don't like it this is a this is something new you might even complain but you might give the place a chance because it's just you know it's it's not common but if it keeps happening or if the thing that happened once was something so grave so bad then and and you decide to never go back again you're not gonna switch back as easily as you would have so that's also something to take into account and i think bud light needs to decide maybe they're already they've already decided but they need to decide whether or not with their whether or not they will use the resources to recapture the customer base that they lost or to perhaps capture a new new markets and i think the way it's, it's it seems right now it seems like they're going for the latter it seems like they're trying to catch the the trying to catch the when, when new yeah. target group yeah Good question, RJ. Guys, let us know in the comments what you think about that question because it's a very uh, important part of the business right now. Are they going to choose to move forward or try to recapture the previous customers? 